Howdy YouTubers. All right, so today I've been wanting to make this video on how to actually make this simple type of settings here where you get like your resolution, quality, if you're full screen or not, a toggle volume, and then a button that switches you between levels. So that's the basic points of today's video. Now, what helped me was Bracky's. He actually did a video on how to do main settings, but I wanted to expand on it. He, They don't actually go into how to actually save the settings with player preps, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So with the code in here, I have I just basically called it like settings menu, and I'm just going to show you what I've done. I'm not going to actually type everything out. That way it just makes things quicker and more efficient that way. And let me just go ahead and go up. So the main things that you want to do is make sure you have Unity Engine to audio, events, UI, and scene management. If you don't have these, your code's not going to work. And then basically you're just going to follow this stuff here. So you're going to get a reference to the volume, the audio mixer, your sliders, your tube drop downs, toggle, a private integer for the actual player press for the if you're full screen or not a private boolean for if you're full screen or not and then you have two strings so make sure that these are separate and not the same because I actually suffered with that earlier I was saving my resolution and my quality to the same pref name and unfortunately it was saving the actual quality values set for saving the actual resolution and quality values so I hope that makes sense so you want to make sure you have an awake function uh, you're basically getting the prayer prep, setting the toggle state in a way. And you can name this however you want. It doesn't have to stay toggle state, but if you want to keep it that way, it will make sure that the code works in a way. But if you do change this, make sure that you change that when I show you in the future. Uh, down at the bottom, I should say. And then basically you're getting your integer values. If it's one, then your toggle basically indicates with the check mark, I am full screen. And if not, then the check mark goes off between scenes. Then you get a resolution drop down value change where it pretty much sets the integer value. And this is the reason why you need Unity Engine dot event because this Unity action takes that integer value in a way. Basically set the resolution drop down and your quality drop downs to these. Now the player preps save, you can actually set that up. Uh, probably like let's say you, after the start you wanted to do like public void save. You can basically put that player preps save in there and it should save the values afterwards. So basically I, I would encourage you to do that. And then here, this is where the, the prayer prefs get set or get set in a way where they get the float values for your slider and volume mixer. They get the quality drop down value and the prayer prefs it gets the integer. Now for this, I set to three. Uh, you can set it to whatever you want, but it will default no matter what afterwards to the actual pref integer value that you set it to. So like let's say you do very low is going to go to very low unless you change it in the settings. And then in here, we're basically getting like the resolution screen values, uh, to basically getting a 4 int. And afterwards, we basically tell the current resolution it will equal I after it gets the width, height, and it basically refreshes the screen resolution. And then in here, this is where the it gets the value afterwards and it saves the drop down value for the resolution here. So res name, current resolution index. And then this is where we basically set the integer value for the actual screen. So if it's 1920 by 1080, it's going to be 1920 by 1080. And here I just have a basic change scene. So scene manager will load the scene to basically level one and then it'll show you that these are working. And then we basically change the fault values. This is where we actually say we basically setting them again. So that way when the start function happens, it will get the values afterwards. We basically set the quality here for the quality settings. And then here we we're telling this function that, it, that 
we are full screen or not full screen. And then for these, this is where we set the values. If it's, again, toggle state if it's zero, check mark off. If it's one, check mark on. Perfect. Now in here, we basically need to now set this script onto our canvas and we need to set up a couple things. So we need quality drop down to you. We need the toggle to you. Resolution for you. Slider for you. And then we may we need to make a mixer now. So in here, I'm just going to call it my mixer. Doesn't matter what you name this one. Uh, it does matter when we do the exposed parameters. Now for here, I actually like setting mine to one. You can keep it at zero, but I, my preference is one. With this selected, I'm now going to right click and do an expose volume to master script. And in the expose parameters, I am now going to right click and rename this and call it volume. Now, what this is named and what this is named is really, really important. If they're not the same, it's not going to work regardless of what you're doing. Excellent. Now, we're going to go back into the canvas, set up the volume mixer to you. And in here, I have a empty game object with a simple sound that we're going to use. Now, for this, you, I'm going to show you the link afterwards of where you can get these. I use freesound.org. It's an excellent website. Just make sure you give credit, of course. Now, just in case, a couple interesting things is we have this output. If you don't put the master mixer into that output, it's not going to work. So make sure you do that and you follow these steps carefully. Now, in here, we need to also now set up the actual stuff. Here, I have an actual mount. So I have very, because on mine, if I go to my project settings, I have very low to ultra. So that's basically what it's doing there. We need to add an event here. Take our canvas, take it into you, and go to my settings. And we're needing to set the quality for the toggle. We need to take the canvas, set it to full screen, resolution, oh, make sure, perfect, set the resolution, and then slider, change volume, and then for my button, because we want to change the scene, change scene. Excellent. Now, in here, what we need to do is I want to basically save this scene now to level one. Go back to level one. And then we need to go into our build settings now. And we basically are going to go ahead and remove that. We need to basically take these now and plug them into here. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Perfect. Now, we're going to go ahead and hit play. Okay, now to make sure everything's working, we're going to, I'm going to set this to, hi, I'm going to set this 1600 to 1920 by 1080. I'm going to click on the full screen, and then I'm just going to drag the slider. Now, if I hit level, you'll notice I'm in level one now. And all of the settings that I set are basically saved. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this again. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. I'm going to set this to like very low. And then set this one to like a 640. Uncheck this and then bring this up. You'll notice that I'm in level one again. And basically all of my settings are saved. Excellent. Now in here into the player settings, one thing you can do is it will have a display resolution dialog. You can actually disable that. And in here for your supported, you can actually disable these two. I like disabling the four by three by 5.4 because all I care about these. 
Now, what I'm going to also do is let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to go ahead and pause, and once this is built, I'll show you that these work in a build function. Okay, so we're in the build. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure that full screen is off. Or, yeah, let's make sure full screen is off. I'm going to set the quality to low. And then I'm going to change mine to 1920 by 1086 HEZ. Slide this down. Go to my next level. And then you'll notice saved. And then, yeah, so that's basically, it's working now. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and get back into the inspector. Okay, so back in Unity. So I definitely do hope that, that uh, this was helpful because I know it's been a process figuring out this on my own. And just to show you the code again, basically this is it. And just going down. And like I said, if you have different ideas or different ways you want to make it work for you, I say experiment it with it. But if you're wanting the basic premises, this is how I went about it. Perfect. Now, if you like what I do, please like and subscribe. Definitely, it helps me out make videos like these and for stuff in the future. And then let me go ahead and show you the website I was talking about. Okay, so it's freesound.org. Basically, you get to search up anything that you want. So let's say you want Christmas music or something or a jump sound. You can go jump into here. Definitely, it helps out patrons on this page to know that their sounds are great enough for your projects. And then you can talk to the providers. And then if you need to, definitely if you want to use them, I say give credit because credit is where credit is due. And that's where essentially I got that sound was from freesound.org. All right, excellent. Well, thank you again for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. If you have questions, please ask. Otherwise, take care and talk to you soon.